हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक सो दिस वीडियो इज ऑल अबाउट कंस्ट्रक्शंस ओके सो यू हैव टू लर्न डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ कंस्ट्रक्शंस ओके सो इन दिस वीडियो वी विल बी स्टार्टिंग विद द डिवीजन ऑफ लाइन सेगमेंट ओके सो कंस्ट्रक्शंस एंड व्हाट टाइप ऑफ कंस्ट्रक्शन वील बी लर्निंग हेयर डिविजन ऑफ लाइन सेगमेंट ओके so the thing is how do you divide a line segment okay so first of all i'll tell you the concept behind this okay whatever the procedure we'll be seeing now first of all let me take you to the concept i think you might have heard about the theorem basic proportionality theorem okay yeah so we are going to use this theorem in this and what is bpt bpt says that if you have a triangle sorry for the bad figure but i hope you can understand if you have a triangle abc and if i'm drawing a line from one side to another side which is parallel to the third side okay i'll again repeat if i have a triangle abc and if i'm drawing a line from one side to another side okay which is parallel to the third side say this point is m and this point is n then this line divides both the sides in equal ratio that is am by mb will be equal to an by nc okay this is basic proportionality theorem using this theorem we will be seeing how we can divide a line segment okay so let us start so here i have constructed a line segment ab and uh, let the question be that i have to divide ab in ratio of 3 is to 4 okay now first thing is that if suppose the length of ab is say for example 7 cm okay then you can easily say that okay 7 cm i can easily divide in the ratio 3 is to 4 okay so one is 3 cm one is 4 cm i will mark the points and then i'll divide it yeah you are correct you can do that but the thing is why we are studying constructions because we need to apply the things that we have studied in 10th okay suppose the length of ab was not given if you don't know what is the length of ab then the question is how will you divide the line segment in that case we will use bpt to divide it okay but obviously in exams they will give you the line segment the length of the line segment because then only you will be able to divide it okay so but don't follow follow this measure okay don't follow this follow the procedure that i'm going to tell that division of a line segment using basic proportionality theorem okay so let us say that i have a line segment ab and i have to divide this in the ratio 3 is to 4 okay so let us see how this is done so the first step is i will divide a i will Uh, mark a line i will make a line ax such that it makes some acute angle with ab okay so my first step is draw a line ax at some acute angle to ab okay now it can be of any measure that doesn't matter okay but the thing is it should be some acute value so that our division is proper and we can easily do it okay so once you have drawn ax that is at some acute angle to ab now you know that we have to divide ab in the ratio 3 is to 4 okay so basically we will divide ax in the ratio in how many parts 3 plus 4 equal to 7 parts okay this is my second step what is my second step that i have to divide ax into 3 plus 4 7 equal parts okay now how will you divide into seven equal parts you know to use a compass take it of any measure using pencil this is your nib and fix it and once you have fixed it fix the pin point here cut 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 it such that you have seven equal divisions okay so i have done that and let me show the figure to you this is my figure okay once i have drawn once i have marked seven equal parts see there are seven parts 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 so basically up to here i have divided say this line is x and say this point is m so basically i have seven divisions in the line segment am okay so you know what is the second uh second step that divide ax in 
3 plus 4 equal to 7 equal parts okay so suppose the ratio is m is to n then in how many segments you have to divide it m plus n parts okay this is what you have to do <coughs> after that the third step is name the points i have named the points from a1 to a7 okay so just name the points simple i think it is pretty simple is it it is easy to understand and i don't think there will be any difficulty in this <clears throat> so after this what you have to do join the seventh point to b okay what is the step join the point a7 that is the last point the seventh point to point b okay this a7 should be joined to b and you will get a straight line okay so why are we doing this i tell you later i know i told you that the concept that we are using here is bpt and i will see i will show you finally how did we use it okay so now can you see a triangle the name of the triangle is triangle a b a 7 okay <clears throat> so i think now you can figure out what where i am taking you through this construction and how we will be able to divide it so have patience just join a 7 to b once that is joined now see this is a 7 which is divide which has seven equal parts can i say that the point a3 is dividing the line segment a a7 in the ratio 3 is to 4 how see this is total three parts a1 a1 a2 and a2 a3 and this from here to here it is four parts so basically i have three is to four okay so now see this point a3 divides this line segment a a7 in the ratio 3 is to 4 now i know that using bpt that is a basic proportionality theorem if from a3 i will draw a line parallel to the base a7b okay i'll again repeat that the from point a3 if i can draw a line parallel to the base a b okay such that this and this are parallel then basic proportionality theorem says that this line segment a b will also be divided in the ratio 3 is to 4 okay so now i think you know what is the next step that from point a3 from a3 okay which divides the line segment a a7 into 3 is to 4 draw a line parallel to a7 b okay intersecting a b at say another point k let this point be k okay is it clear so this is your last step okay so i have drawn it for you so finally you'll have this figure okay now the B bpt basic proportionality theorem says that now see this is parallel to this so our condition is satisfied and uh, this so if this is parallel to this how you will draw parallel lines by making this angle equal to this angle concept of corresponding angles now as per basic proportionality theorem if this line a a7 is in 3 is to 4 the line from a3 parallel to base will again divide a b in the ratio 3 is to 4 hence this point c divide this line meant line segment a b in the ratio 3 is to 4 hence our line a b is divided in the ratio 3 is to 4 and hence your divi division of line segment is done okay is it clear i hope you understood the concept and you can apply this for any division may it be 2 is to 5 6 is to 5 5 is to 7 anything anything whatever it is just uh, add them up so for example 5 is to 7 total is 12 divide this line ax into 12 equal parts join the 12th part to b okay then take the fifth division and from the fifth division draw a line parallel to the baseline and hence this will be divided okay so try more questions on this because see constructions this chapter is very scoring once you know how to draw anything once you know how to construct the according to the given procedure you can easily score a lot of marks okay so thanks for watching i hope you liked the video i hope you caught the concept okay please share the video please like the video and do subscribe our channel for more updates regarding the education that's all have a nice day thank you